Okay, Dragon Con 2013. This is my Dragon Knight costume. So a friend of mine, Johnny, hi Johnny, gave me the idea about a knight in shining armor whose armor is sort of a dragon motif. On the front, on the belt buckle or the codpiece is the dragon's head and the wings and tail. And this costume actually transforms as you see here, into a dragon costume. So I wrote down my ideas. So you see the uh, costume is supposed to all be able to fold together so that you can get through doors as the knight costume and then pop out the wings and the tail and the head, crouching down like that to do the, the uh, dragon costume. So I put some ideas together on paper first. I got my little uh, portable uh, design notebook and wrote down Try to imagine each one of the gear systems, sort of a side view. Here's the tail down here of how it would work, and the wings, how they would work, and uh, sort of a back view of all the different pieces, the wings and the tail, and how it all has to come together, and the pieces of the uh, neck and the head for it. And so I tried to get it pretty good in my imagination in the first place. So after that I did a uh, small... Uh, scale mock-up uh, using foam core poster board and good old pipe cleaners for hinges and came up with a device that with one mechanism for the head causes the wing mechanism to come out and this is a copy of the tail mechanism over here it's in smaller scale the tail needs to be larger and down here and the wings on scale with the head here so then, after I sort of got the uh, proportions as to which le which legs needed to be long and which legs needed to be short, and then I came up with okay. Here it is in full scale. I've got a wooden backboard that everything is based off of. I've got a couple of aluminum strips that will rest on my shoulders. I have the wing mechanism here. I have the neck mechanism here. And in the middle, the neck mechanism attaches to the tail mechanism and to a base. So, it's supposed to go on your shoulders and rest semi-comfortably. Like so. Okay, I've got. Can you see that metal strap there? And this little Velcro strap here. That should keep it on the shoulders. Okay. Here it is with all the mechanism down. Okay, as I raise the head. Okay. There's the head mechanism right here. And if you get a can get a good angle here. Okay, I should be able to make the eyes squint and open the jaw at the same time. A little tilt of the body makes the head go from side to side. And the wing mechanism and the tail. You can see I've ended it up with just wires. The PVC pipe is half an inch thick. The smallest and cheapest kind I can get. So one piece of wood where, as you can see, I needed the holes to be not exactly in a straight line. And that helps out with my little prop rod over here. I wanted the whole thing to be spring-loaded so that it would spring up and spring down. Then I'd just be able to pull it back down again. And I can 
can get through doors like so. See how I've got to make sure that tail doesn't gets retracted all the way up by adjusting the length of this middle rod over here. I can adjust that. So I want it to all collapse, and then I can, like I say, get through doors easily. And I raise up this, place it on the prop rod right here, and then we're out in full costume. Here I've got, I'll have to do another video where I'm just uh, showing the head mechanism. There's one spring that pulls the jaw forward and this little string attached to the back of the jaw. So I just have to lean forward with my head into this string over here and it pulls the jaw back. And like I say, the spring pulls it back forward again. So. The wings are going to be static, just out there, so blowing in the wind, the head. Like I say, this is my classic uh, X cross between the two, except I've done a little change over here, so the head magnifies the bend of the direction of the neck. And I've got the same X cross over here, which is magnifying when this piece moves, the neck in front moves a larger amount, so that it just hides away. All right, needs a few adjustments, and then cover it with fabric for the costume. Best of luck.